Hey guys, so Apple is wasting no time today releasing iOS 18.1 developer beta 4 for all iPhones this time around. Now keep in mind that iOS 18.1 was only previously available for the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max to test Apple intelligence, but it is now available for all iPhones capable of running iOS 18. So if you have an iOS 18 compatible device, you can now start testing 18.1 developer beta 4 as of today. Now, if you're updating from iOS 18.0 to 18.1 betas, the download could be anywhere from six to seven gigs. Now, as I always say, this is simply overwriting the entire operating system on your device in order to install the new updates. So you're not going to be losing that storage from your device. But if you're updating from iOS 18.1 beta 3 to beta 4, the download is nearly one gig as you see right here. Now let's head on over into settings. Let's go into general about and then go into the iOS version. There it is, the latest build number for iOS 18.1 developer beta 4. Now keep in mind that it is sitting in beta 4 because as I mentioned, this software was being tested since late July on the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max with Apple Intelligence. And now every single iPhone running iOS 18 is now joining the list for iOS 18.1 beta testing. Now aside from iOS 18.1, Apple also released iPadOS 18.1 beta 4 and macOS 15.1 beta 4 as well. Now for the first time, tvOS 18.1 beta 1 is available, watchOS 11.1 beta 1 is now available, and of course visionOS 2.1 beta 1 is now available for those devices as well. Now the main reason Apple was testing iOS 18.1 on iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max first is because this brings Apple intelligence for the 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max, and the entire iPhone 16 lineup. So let's talk about some of the latest new features and changes within the latest beta. Now I want to start off with a new splash screen that's now available for the photos application in iOS 18.1. As you can see here, you get a brief description of what's new in the photos application in iOS 18.1, but you also now get an additional option for Apple intelligent devices. We have search, cleanup, and create for memories. This is a brief description of some of the new Apple intelligent features coming to iOS 18.1 for compatible devices. Now Apple has also changed control center a little bit this time around as well. So if we go into control center and we swipe to the connectivity section right here, you see that we now have different platters here for Wi-Fi, the AirDrop, Bluetooth, and cell service options. So you can now go ahead and go through your Bluetooth devices directly from here. You also have your AirDrop options right there. And obviously you also have the ability to switch between Wi-Fi networks and cell services as well. I think this is a welcome change for the control center center connectivity platter and section. I think this is much better to look at and understand when you go to switch between those options and different settings. So welcome change there for the connectivity within control center. Now Apple has also added suggestions to type to Siri or tap to Siri. So when you double tap the bottom of the screen here and you're typing away, Apple intelligence will give you suggestions based on what you're typing as you can see right there. So you get suggestions based on what you're typing on at the tap to Siri right there when you're typing away, which I really like because it helps you get through things a lot quicker. Now there's also an update under the Apple Intelligence tab here. If you turn off the Hey Siri command and turn it back on, you get this sort of new tutorial. And I did screen record this so that I don't trigger your devices at home, but let me show you what that looks like here. So take a listen here and take a look at the new update here. And there you have it all the way from one to five. And now you've set up your Hey Siri command on Apple intelligence running iOS 18.1. And that's what that tutorial looks like. Again, that's only if you turn it off and turn it back on. I've noticed that we get that new tutorial with those chime walking you through the steps on how to set it up on your iPhone. And I'll continue looking around the operating system for new changes on iOS 18.1, but Apple continues to test and develop Apple intelligence with this one. Obviously this software, Apple is hoping to push it out sooner rather than later for the iPhone 16 lineup, as those are gonna be some of the major features coming to those devices as well. But again, everyone can now start testing 18.1 as of today. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.